Good morning from Jerusalem. Look how beautiful it is, and I'm on the only tourist that's walking at the sidewalk here. Uh, it's a special tour that I'm doing to you, of course, but I'm honoring it to you and to Johan Tio from Netherlands, who asked me to buy this cross for him. And I will talk about it soon, but let's talk about the view. Then, the first place that you will see here is the um, St. Stephen Church. That is where St. Stephen was stoned, and uh, the tomb of his, according to the Greek Orthodox, is here, at least the place that he was uh, crucified. Let's leave the olive tree, but you can see the olive fruit here, and let's bless it. Let's see if I can take a picture of it. Dead. I think I did. Uh, ah, that's even better. And you can see Mount of Olives that used to be covered with olive trees. And the church down there and the garden to the left of it is part of the Garden of Gethsemane and Gethsemane Church or Nation Church, uh, um, the Agony Church. Uh, three names to that amazing church. It's a Catholic, pla a Catholic place, and you can see now that they are building another entrance from there. Above it is a beautiful Golden Onion Church. That is Mary Magdalene Church. Um, and soon you will see another chapel. It's there, but I think the trees are hiding it, and we can see it from a different angle. That will be Dominus Flavit. But the white area that you see are Jewish tombs from the time of King David until today. Yes, until today. They're still being buried there to be buried in Israel. It's, uh, it's for free. Unless you ask to be buried in something spe some play, uh, special and you will pay a lot of money to be buried at Mount of Olives, mainly because uh, there's not a lot of space here and the Jews believe that when the Messiah will come and it's not going to be Jesus um, they will be the first one who will resurrect then in that case very important look at the beautiful valley here and it's a cemetery of uh, the Catholic Church there's a small cemetery of the Greek Orthodox Church there um, what you cannot see is the value of the cemetery of the Muslims in Israel. You can see a little bit, uh, can see it a little bit there. Oh, now you can see Dominus Flavi, the Lord wept. Then, let's bless it. It's a small chapel. Yeah, I can see it with a gray, a gray black dome, looks like a teardrop upside down. Okay. Olive trees, let's bless the olive trees with the olive wood of Johan Tio from Netherlands. Jan Tio. is a brave man. He's got the disease, but it's not anymore. And he is alive, although it actually, yeah, he suffers every day. But you know what? He said that he smiles for the rest of the day. And, and this, is, this, is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And guess what? Happy birthday, Johan! Happy birthday, Johan! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Johan! Who celebrates today? Uh, July 13, his birthday! And everyone together! Happy birthday, Johan! Happy birthday, Johan. Happy birthday, Johan Tio. Happy birthday to you. 
Yay, thank you. You can actually write something for your auntie or you might uh, look at it. He might have force you to look at it. Then you can see Mount of Olives. The ascension, you cannot see it from here, but it's the top of the mount. There are two churches there. The first one is the Russian church, a Russian ascension church. You might see the tower of it soon. Next to it is the real ascension uh, site, but it's owned by the Muslims, that it's a mosque. But you can pray as a Christian, you can pray there. And next to it is Paternoster Church or Aluana Church. Paternoster Church, it's one of the four first churches in the Holy Land built at the 4th century by St. Helen, then you can understand that that church was more important than so many other churches. For example, the Church of Garden of Gethsemane was built later on. Then the first, first places that mention Jesus' time, the way that Jesus actually, the place that Jesus visit was there. Certainly, you don't know about the church, but at the description Sorry, above it, right? The upper part of, uh, of the, uh, the video, you will see a link to my videos from uh, 2021, 20, 2022. And look for Pater Nooster Church or Ano Ana, and you will, uh, you will uh, be able to visit an amazing place. I love that walk. I took a nice family, the King family, uh, a few days ago, and the father Ian actually talks about that that walk. And sadly, we didn't do that because, you know, to visit Jerusalem, you need more than two days. And we were together only for a few hours. Oh, look how beautiful it is. From here you can see beautifully the Jewish cemetery and Absalom tomb is in front of you. Absalom is the son of King David. We know that Absalom, um, actually King David left the city because of Absalom. Absalom tried to, um, how should I say he did nicely to kill him, uh, but he didn't succeed. And. Um, and he actually was hanged on the tree because of long hair. He had long hair. And that's why so many, I mean, in the army, you have to be with short hair. I just watched uh, movie hair. Yeah, no, that's the sunshine. Uh, two days ago, you know, I loved that video. And um, there's a lot about long hair. Then, uh, then here it is. Now we know why we have to go with short. Um, but look at that, this is a very important rabbi tomb, I'm just trying to see if I can see it, you see the stage that he built there, and uh, some people are walking uh, to visit it and to pray, I don't know who is that rabbi, but I, you know, I promise to look for more information about him. If you saw the video that I took two months ago, everything was so green. Now it's so gray. It's uh, summertime. The next rain that we will have will be oh, somewhere uh, near J uh, November or something like that. It's beautiful, isn't it? I really love that place. Why they're building a stage, and you can see the kind of a bridge that they're building. I'm not sure that that bridge that you see is for shade. I'm almost sure, but again, I'm not, I don't know. But maybe it's for, you know, maybe it's for shade, but if not, priest, uh, uh, just from the priest family, Cohen, Kana. They cannot uh, enter to a cemetery. In uh, some of the cities, they built a kind of um, 
a pavement above it that they will be able to reach the rabbi tomb, but they won't touch the tombs itself. I don't know if that is the story. It looks like it, but it can be only for shade. From time to time, a, shade, a, a bridge is only for that. Then, you can see beautifully from here. Um, where is it? Yeah. Absalom tomb and Zachariah tomb. Zachariah tomb is a monolite tomb, just like Petra. They curved it from up to down. We're talking about first century tombs. Absalom is before it, but it might be that they renovated it for him. Uh, Johan, you can see now the wall or the corner of the eastern wall of the temple and the city in that time, uh, in that matter, and the southern wall of the uh, temple and the city. Why I'm saying the temple and the city? Because most of the wall is from uh, 16th century and up. Most of it is uh, not connected to the Jewish temple. But the eastern wall, it is. And the uh, southern wall and the western wall as well. Then part of it is from the time of, uh, of King Herod. He built himself a huge plaza to build a very big temple. I don't know if you saw the Dome of the Rock, but you saw a small part of it. At the time of uh, King Herod, it was like a huge Jewish temple. Beautiful view, isn't it? You can see St. Stephen Church, um, Garden of Gethsemane, Mary Magdalene, the Russian Church, Dominus Flavit, and the tombs here, the Jewish cemetery. There's an Orthodox groups, group here. I don't want to disturb them, but I have a feel. It's difficult for me. Yeah, I think we can. I can. Right, then let's. I don't want to go through them. Disturb the tour guide there, then I'll do it quickly here. Gate of Mercy, this is the name of, uh, of the Golden Gate. And it's somewhere there. You cannot see it from here. The lower part is from the time of King Herod, but you can see that the upper part is from different times. That temple been destroyed by King Herod at 70 AD. Sorry, uh, by the Romans at 70 AD, by Titus as Vespasianus. The corner here, according to the to the Bible, is the corner that. Uh, the devil tried Jesus. He did it three times, twice at Jericho. And this is the third time. Here he told him, jump. Um, if you believe in Jesus, he will catch you. It's beautiful, isn't it? And down there, Try to see if I can show it to you. Yeah, you can see it looks like windows, but those are tombs from the first century outside city of David, which we are going to see soon. And that house that looked like a flat roof and there's only one door is another tour according to what we believe. This is the tomb of the daughter of Pharaoh, and the pyramid is missing. True or not, I don't know, but what I can tell you that those are tombs from the first century. Sorry, from the time of King David and his family. Look how beautiful it is.
No, it's not hot at all. Not hot at all. It's only 29 degrees today, hmm, around 85, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. But I must say that until now, I cannot complain. That village was built on top of the tombs that you saw, and there are even tombs there as well, uh, at the upper part of it. And the village wasn't here yet in 1930. There are pictures of, of the Silum Valley. They were built later on at the time of the Jordanian. That was part of Jordan until 1967. And you can see here the Kidron Valley. They divided Mount of Olives and Jerusalem. And it was it actually was built on the so many Jewish tombs. I took the, oh, the King family to the city of David. It's a beautiful place to visit, certainly, because it's a um, children vacation. Then it was so crowded with so many sh screaming children. Uh, not easy, not easy. Yeah, here it is the part of the wall. The southern wall of the temple. Uh, I don't know if you can see the three block arches. Maybe I might show you it later again. Or you can see it now. That was the main entrance to the temple then. And so many Jews, and Jesus was one of them, entered the temple by God order three times here. Passover, everyone knows it, Jews and Christians is one of them. The second festival, Jewish festival. Um, tomb is um, Jewish festival day it's Shavuot which is 50 days after Passover which you know it a Christian knows it Pentecost and it's a cult tabernacle which is mentioned in the New Testament as well but you know just by the way Al-Aqsa Mosque is above it the Temple Mount was built by King Herod but it was built for the Jewish temple and before that on Mount Moriah, Abraham sacrificed me, Isaac. Yes, my name is Zahi Tzachi, actually. But uh, I, I know that it doesn't sound like it's a shortcut of Isaac. Here you can see the three block arches. And Alactimus, done at the 7th century. At uh, 70 AD, it been destroyed the temple. And in the 7th century, Muhammad and Islam arise. According to so many Muslims, uh, Muhammad Rich Al Aqsa, you can see the dome of it, went to the foundation stone, which is the dome of the Rock of the Dead, the site of the Jewish temple, and um, and uh, um, ascended into heaven, met God Himself, gave Him the five prayers of the day. Now we are entering to Jewish tombs. At 1948, when the Jordanian occupied that city that was supposed to be owned by the United Nations, not by Israel, um, then they used the tombstones for, I don't know, for roads, for their houses. Then you can see here a lot of um, uh, tombs of Jews, but we don't know who is buried there. The only thing that you can see here is the symbol of the Star of David, that in a way I'm walking on a cemetery. I want you to see uh, the city, city of David. That King David built a city on top of the city that the Canaanite lived uh, because of one reason. See the green area? The only spring of Jerusalem is there. Then in that case, uh, we do, we have here evidence from 3,800 years ago from the Jebusite, uh, the Canaanite time, and from, uh, and of, of the families from King David dynasty. It's such an amazing uh, place to visit, but if you are afraid of small places, um, claustrophobic, then don't do that.
Another thing that I will ask you to do, it's very steep. Then start from up to down and then take the shuttle. Pay five shekels for it, but take the shuttle. It will take you back to the entrance of City David. You will bless me by doing that. And let's cross to the other side, but I don't want to die today. I'm gonna guide a group for one day tomorrow. Yay! Uh, that could be the first one this month. Oh, second, second one, second one, second one. The King family was a few days ago. And what we believe here uh, is that here in the Ophel, which is uh, mentioned in the Bible, Ophel is to climb up in Hebrew. Uh, some believe that this is the wall of the city from the time of King Solomon. King Solomon built the city, built the temple, not King David. King David was punished by God. And in that case, it might be that you are looking at the evidence for 3,000 years ago. That museum is part of Davidson Museum. David, like David, Davidson Museum Center. Excellent place to visit. Then here you can see a little bit of the wall. A minute. the walls from um, let's say King Herod and up but the wall that you see now is from uh, 16th century built by Suleiman the Magnificent impressive isn't it I'm going into the city from the Dun Gate, but I think it's enough for, for you, Johan. I hope that you will celebrate lots of Brewers Day. And remember to bless Johan for his birthday. I don't know how old he is. And, um, and if you like that video, please subscribe my channel. And uh, if you want to support me, you can do it via PayPal. PayPal. If you write PayPal and my name is Zahi Shaked, you will find it. But if not, it's at the description of that video. And uh, if you want to buy yourself your own cross and your own tour, you're most welcome to do that via buy me a coffee link. Buy me a coffee and my name is Zahi Shaked. You will find it. Look at the extras for the options. And uh, if not, send me a, a message and I will send you the link for it then thank you very much my dears see you in my next video bye bye